Scientists at Sandia National Labs have created something that could save the lives of our servicemen and women. It's a robotic hand, and its job is to dismantle improvised explosive devices so the troops don't have to. Not only could it save lives, but also help lead to the would-be bombers. It is very lifelike. It moves like a real hand. It has soft tissue like a real hand and can grip like a real hand. The only obvious difference, it's missing a finger. With four fingers, I'm able to work them around this guy and rotate this ball within my hand. Project leader Kurt Salisbury says they studied human hands extensively and found four fingers is all they really need, especially for this hand's mission, dismantling IEDs. Right now there's a lot of robotic systems that uh, exist that can help address this issue. Uh, but the thing that a dexterous robotic hand that's low cost would enable us to be able to do is to get in there and actually do some more forensics on the explosives without just detonating them right away. And that will enable us to do things like determine where the IED came from, uh, where the individual parts came from, and help us understand better what the supply chain is for these, uh, these bombs. Another goal in building this hand was to build a robotic hand as close to a human hand as possible and as inexpensive as possible. One of the things that we've tried to do in order to help reduce the cost while still maintaining the capability here is to use as many uh, commercially available parts as possible. So things like cell phones, uh, cell phone cameras, cell phone electronics, we've tried to integrate all of that stuff as much as possible. Salisbury says this hand costs about $10,000. That's compared to the 250000 for many of the hands already built. Salisbury hopes they can further develop this hand so it can also be used in a commercial setting, maybe even find its way into people's homes. But the important mission for it right now is to save lives. To put the robot in a place where we don't want the human to go, where there's a life-threatening or, or health-threatening situation, and having these robotic systems in place enables the human operator of that robotic system to make more rational decisions without the pressure of a life-threatening or or hazardous environment. Salisbury says that it may still be a couple of years until this hand is used regularly by the military. He says their next task is building a robotic arm.